And welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to this Saturday's edition of Maryland's Cafe Society radio show right here at 1340 WJOL. Remember to check out IamMaryland.com throughout the week. Also, just stay uh, updated on what's going on with the show. And also, check out the blog. Uh, folks are asking for more pics from that Christmas celebration of the Girl Scouts. And I'm still waiting uh, to get those pictures emailed to me so we can get just a couple of them posted um, so that you guys can kind of see the girls singing in the studio and all of that. So that's coming soon, everybody. Also, an updated picture of me since um, um, the year's end, 2013, and the um, grand total, yeah, for those who, who heard it last Saturday, I lost 15 pounds in 2013, and that's okay. My goal was to at least do what I did in 2012, but um, I didn't make that goal. So um, nevertheless, we'll get a picture up very soon, very soon. All right. Okay. So um, checking the weather, um, you guys, particularly in the broadcast area, according to the National Weather Service here in the Chicago land area, we are under a flood advisory. Well, not all of us, just those in the East Branch DuPage River area at um, in Bolingbrook, and that's until Sunday evening. That's tomorrow evening. Um, I guess at 7.30 a.m. Um, today, the stage of the flood for that particular river was 18.7 feet. And um, it looks like um, it surpassed what they thought the impact will be at that time. And they're um, anticipating that it will continue to rise. So if you're going to be out in that area, that's the east branch of the DuPage River near Bolingbrook, please proceed with caution as we are under a, a flood advisory for that particular area. Also, um, just um, even, you know, around your homes and in your local communities, be alert with the snow melting and then the rain that um, it's not raining right now, but we have experienced rain showers in the past 24 hours, you know, that can cause some flooding. So you might want to just make sure that you uh, push the, the water, standing water away from your homes and, and things of that nature. Uh, for the rest of the day, we will experience mostly cloudy skies. Our temperatures were to hit the mid 30s. Tonight, more clouds, low of 16. Tomorrow, we'll wake up to some sunshine and clouds. Our high tomorrow will be about 41 degrees. And tomorrow night, uh, more clouds uh, becoming overcast, low of 36. Monday, partly cloudy skies, high of 37. I love this. You know, don't, doesn't these 30s sound so good coming off that frigid weather, Arctic weather that we had earlier in um, the week? So, uh, and that looks like that's how it's going to go for the rest of the week. Well, Wednesday, uh, lots of sunshine. However, our high will only hit about 23 degrees, but things warm back up by Thursday with lots of sunshine, high near 40 once again. So I'm loving uh, these temperatures that uh, are in the forecast. Uh, today, again, a mid-30s is our high, and we are currently here at the WJOL studios around 36 degrees and again just loving the sound of all of that well weather has been the big news not just here in the midwest but around the country um, this past week and uh, there was a report that came out on yesterday uh, where uh, scientists our weather experts weather scientists are saying that us folks here in the united states are becoming weather wimps. Are you a wimp or are you a warrior? I posted that on my uh, Facebook page earlier today. So if you want to respond there, just go to Maryland's Cafe Society on Facebook and, you know, let us know. Were you a wimp earlier this week or were you a weather warrior? Well, they're saying um, the reason that, and we've said this here on the show many times before as well, but the reason that, um, they are saying Americans are becoming weather wimps is because we've been spoiled, you know, and in and, and, and the past decades or so, we have experienced very few days like the ones that we experienced this past Monday 
and Tuesday. And, you know, it's all alluded to this global warming that apparently is happening here um, on planet Earth. So when we get those bitter cold spells like we experienced earlier in the week, you know, what they consider deep freezes, um, it's a shock to us. And, um, you know, uh, uh, many of them are going um, out and saying that the uh, cold extremes have happened only about once every four years since the 1900s. And that is until recently, um, according to the Associated Press, when computer models estimate that the national average daily temperature for the lower 48 states here on uh, North America dropped to 17.9 uh, degrees on Monday. And it was the first deep freeze of that magnitude in 17 years. And that, of course, is according to one of the meteorologists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Now, if you take the stretch from January th- uh, 13th, 1997, to this past Monday, which was January 6th, 2014, it is the longest that the United States has gone without the national average plunging below 18 degrees. Listen, 48 out of 50 states. So that is uh, remarkable. So anyway, um, they're saying as a result of that, because we're just not used to having Um, Cold, cold days like that, Um, when we do get them, it's uh, like a national disaster. We were sort of here acting like the folks down south in in Mississippi and Alabama and Arkansas and Atlanta. Everything shut down. And probably with good reason. I mean, if, if we as humans aren't used to the Arctic blast that we experienced, then certainly uh, the pipes and many folks' homes and and the like were kind of shocked as well because there were numerous reports of pipes bursting um, as a result of the freezing temperatures and and things of that nature. So anyway, I'd like to know. In fact, if you want to call, I'd love to hear it. I'm just going to tell the truth. Monday and Tuesday, and I'll dare say even Wednesday, I was a weather wimp. (laughs) I did get out there on Monday, however, and push some snow. You know, but uh, yeah, it, it it was just a bit much, even with the layers, um, just, you know, more than five minutes out there was, was painful, <laughs> painful to say the least. So I'm spoiled. I'm, I've gotten used to these warmer winters and um, I'm sure most of you have too. So again, if you want to answer that question and, and comments, you can on my Facebook page, Maryland's Cafe Society. Or just call us here at 815-254-7300. Also, something remarkable happened on Monday. And um, I I heard that many media outlets were talking about it. In fact, I think it was a topic of discussion here on the morning show um, on WJOL. But um, as folks were driving and moving around or opening their windows to the to the morning sun, they thought their minds were playing tricks on them because there was an appearance of three suns in the sky. Yeah, three suns. Well, obviously we know that 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 couldn't have happened or unless folks were thinking it was Armageddon or something. But when that happens, um, it has a lot to do with uh, water crystals and and the cold weather and and some other uh, scientific things that happen in the atmosphere that I really don't know a whole lot about. But um, the term that's used for that is sun dog or mock sun or phantom sun. And of course, that's when the real sun is in the middle and then there's uh, reflections of the sun on either side of it or on both sides of it as it was this past Monday it was on both sides of the real sun and so it looked like it there were actually three suns in the sky and I heard 
uh, someone was telling me that one of our people here on the morning show had a real funny joke <laughs> to tie in with the topic. But uh, yeah, three sons. Uh, and obviously it wasn't, but it, it certainly made for an interesting talk. And folks probably felt uh, a sigh of relief when they discovered that the world was not coming to an end. <laughs> All right, everybody, 125 is our time here at 1340 WJOL. Stay close to your radio. We'll be back with more of Maryland's Cafe Society right here at WJOL.